This morning, the home where four University of Idaho college students were killed last year is set to be torn down, but not without opposition from some of the victims' families. I think the world uh, agrees with them, but the, the home also has a significant emotional uh, value to it. In a new statement, the families of Kaylee Gonzalez and Zana Kernodal argue the house is also a critical piece of evidence, saying when the victims can't speak, you have to speak for them when you feel someone is hurting the case. They say having access to the house could eventually help with key questions, such as could the surviving roommates hear a dog barking from the third floor? Screams? Can you hear those same sounds from the bottom apartment? Gonzalez, Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, and Madison Mogan were found stabbed to death in the home in November last year. Prosecutors allege Brian Koberger, a criminology PhD student at nearby Washington State University, broke in and killed them. He did not offer a plea, so the judge entered a not guilty plea on his behalf. The FBI recently canvassed the home in October, gathering data to create visual aids that can be used during the trial. Visual aids, they provide more information that allow for the understanding of photographs and videos. They can provide measurement. They can provide the location of walls, for example, or the directions of cameras. The University of Idaho owns the home and says it represents a grim reminder of the murders, saying it is time for its removal and to allow the collective healing of our community to continue. Meanwhile, a trial date for Koberger has still not been scheduled, an added frustration for the victims' families. The demolition of that house is set to begin this morning. Neither the prosecution nor the defense has objected. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York.